So today's video is about the amazing coffee scene here in Burlington, Vermont. Good coffee is hard to come by. As you travel around the country, as I do, you get to find out that not everybody uh, really places a high enough value on, on what good coffee is. So, you know, you go to uh, parts of the Midwest and you say, where can I get a good cup of coffee? You know, they'll say Dunkin' Donuts. But quality coffee, coffee that's brewed on site and that's been curated and that has some interesting tones to it. Interesting espresso drinks, great pastries and other kinds of snacks. As you make your way around downtown Burlington without ever having to leave the downtown area, you'll come across, oh, I would say about a dozen really good coffee shops. Uh, every one of them has its own character, its own quality. I'll talk about a few of them right now. So if you come to town, of course, in all likelihood, you'll get to Church Street. Uh, if you haven't watched my video about Church Street, make sure you do. Church Street Marketplace is kind of the hub of downtown Burlington. And as you make your way around Church Street, you're gonna get to see uh, a number of these places. So one of the places is that the northern end of Church Street is a new place and it's called uh, Crew Coffee and it's K-R-U coffee. Got kind of a cosmopolitan vibe, very open and airy, a uh, big counter uh, that you order on one end of and then you pick up your drinks at the at the far other end. It's kind of a clean look, an open look. I had a really interesting coffee drink that was made with honey and cardamom and it was an espresso drink that just blew my doors off. It was absolutely delicious. There's cosmic coffee and that's uh, if you're heading south on Church Street on your left side about three quarters of the way down. Very small place, strong, rich espresso drinks. I highly recommend them as well. Now, if you go all the way down Church Street to Main Street, make a left. On your left, we'll come to Muddy Waters. Originally designed by the members of the 12 tribes, and it's got a very earthy, wood-like feeling, almost like you're on the inside of a log cabin. It's got a little bit of a hippie vibe. Great coffee, great hot chocolate as well, and some other really neat drinks, and they've got some terrific pastries. If you head out of town and you go north along North Avenue, uh, a little ways up is Scout Coffee. It's also sort of a, a clean, cosmopolitan feel, concrete floors, a straight counter. They make their own ice cream or they serve uh, homemade ice cream. I think they make it. They've got one of the best almond croissants I've had around. Highly recommend them. And I'm gonna tell you about one more, and that's one of my very favorite places, and that is Barrio Bakery. Now, Barrio Bakery is in the, what we call the Old North End. It's a little bit north of the downtown, the immediate downtown area. It's, it's in more of a residential area that borders on industrial sort of a feel. So there are buildings that have been industrial in nature that have been repurposed into sort of boutique-y types of places. Old wood floors and old wood beams. Uh, it's relatively small. A lot of people go just to pick things up and leave, uh, but absolutely amazing pastries. Check out the morning buns. Uh, if they have them, try to get a hold of what they call the Queen Aman, uh, which is uh, kind of like a morning bun on steroids. Uh, great almond croissants, a lot of other great stuff, and their lattes are great. And I also want to give a shout out to Isabel there, who was kind enough to offer me a free treat uh, when I came in there the other day on my way to the emergency room after breaking my ankle. So... <laughs> So now I'm home in my scrubs, in my uh, cast, hobbling along on crutches and getting other people to take Ernie for walks and things like that. But listen guys, if you're a coffee drinker, there's a lot more to say about this and I'm more than happy to share other resources and ideas with you. If you like this channel, if I'm giving you valuable information, please subscribe. Also go on over to my website and if you're thinking about buying property here in the area, I love acting as an ambassador to people coming up and so please feel free to use me in that regard and I'd love to help you find a home here and make it a home for you. Take care, have a great day. You're the cream in my coffee. You're the salt in my stew. You will always be mine, Sasty. I'd be lost without you.